Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. Fat Hidden Candy Roth live from uh, my basement and Candy's dining room. Yes, where I'm having fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, which doesn't seem as comfortable as my basement with recliners and comfy couches and stuff. Are you laying in a recliner right now? I'm actually sitting up in a recliner as I look at the laptop and we talk to each other. Um, but I could very easily move backwards and, and, and recline Candy. Uh oh. Yeah, this is uh, it's gonna be a little nap time later on when the show's over down here. I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so because you're a little old. <laughs> I am getting you're there. You're appearing a little old anyway. All right, listen. Enough about me. I have to settle you down. I am your voice of reason. Now, tell oh. me about your son and his fiance. Officially put off the wedding. What's the deal here? Well, it looks. I would say about ninety-eight percent sure we're gonna cancel this wedding this year. Yes, indeed. Well, don't say cancel. Don't say cancel. You're well, postponing. Well, that's the word they're using. And then they said they're not going to reschedule until next year. Well, you know what? Um, it makes sense only because you don't know when the pandemic is going to come to an end here, Candy. I know. Now. It's very upsetting to me. Look, let me, and I, I know we kid around a lot. Uh, so maybe I'll throw a couple of, you know, little uh, jabs at you. But but here's the truth. Your son and his fiance are young, healthy people. They are in love. They have a great family around them. And things happen. It could be for them. I know for the for the world, it can't be much worse. But for them, uh, it could be a lot worse. Everything is good for them. I think deep down in their heart of hearts, Maybe they're upset about it, but you have to take the positives. Everyone's happy and healthy. And t Tell me I'm wrong, Candy. I know you're disappointed. No, you're absolutely right, and you're doing way better at this than I am. I will get over it. I'm going to give one, myself one more pity party day, and then I'm over it. I think the way... Now, look, I know I get over it, uh, and I'm helping you because I'm on the outside looking in. I, I understand you're, you're knee-deep in this. Think about your wedding. You know how big your wedding was? I remember how much planning went in, and the proposal, and the wedding site, and the dress, and there were... You remember? Now, yes. if you had to cancel that two months before all of it was supposed to happen, you'd be very upset. Huh. Maybe it would have given me a second chance, Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, maybe, maybe. You know? Uh, there's but, always that. Uh, look, I'm sure there's going to be uh, some crying moments. From Jackie is her name, correct? Yes. Okay, she's going to have her Jackie. moments. Sweet Jackie's going to have her moments. But like uh, Casey said, she, once she makes up her mind and she makes a decision, she's good with it. So right now, she's uh, hanging strong. Now, she's a school teacher, right? She is, and they just started teaching because they had they did have a week off, maybe, two, and now they're back where she's doing the uh, over the internet thing. Yes, I feel like teachers she is seventh grade. Okay, and I feel like teachers have a good way of putting things in compartments and moving on. Right, you understand? Right, right. It took her a while, I'm sure, to come to the decision. But like uh, Casey said, once she makes her mind up, that's it. She's she's good with it, and they're good now, with it, and I'll be good with it tomorrow. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, which we discussed the other day. For you, for anyone, uh, myself, for anyone who has to put on a fancy suit or a dress, you know, you now have to be able to fit into that dress over a year from now, Candy. Well, have you heard of the Corona 15? <laughs> yes, I have. Okay, well, yeah, it's a little problem. I've been trying to, you know, do well every day. It's a, it's a struggle, meal by meal, whether you have a house full of everything you want and nothing to do. Have they picked? I'll be a, in that dress. Don't you worry. I know you will. Have they picked a, uh, an official date yet for the wedding? No, no, they have not. Hmm. So you're saying my my weekend of June twenty seventh is now available for me? I'm thinking yes, but okay. you just wait till I give the all all over sign. All right, because you know I may go make some plans for that weekend now. Now that I'm open, don't do it today. <laughs> All right, you're okay. Chin up. Everything's going to be fine. Life could be worse, right? It could always be worse, but when you're nice to me, then it makes me want to cry. Oh, honey, come here, <laughs> come here. Let's take a nap together on my basement couch. 
Come here. <laughs> That'll be a first. Oh, yeah. All right. There you go. Uh, candy will be okay. We shall move on. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.